Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to create a chart using reports. First, you need to add a report viewer to form 1, then we will create a stored procedure to get total orders export. You need to download Northwind database to play. You can download the Northwind database below this video. We will select order ID, convert order date to year, then count and group orders by year. We will use Entity Framework to get data from Stored Procedure. You need to drag the chart report item from the toolbox onto the report, then select chart type and set the data source to chart report. You need to add categories and value group to chart report. Use categories to group data. Categories provide the labels for chart elements. For example, in a column chart, category labels are placed on the x-axis of the chart, one for each set of columns. The value group is used to determine the size of the chart element for each category group. For example, a values field determines the height of a column in a column chart, or the size of a slice in a pie chart. When you design a chart report, you need to add at least one field to the value group. Value groups are static in charts. If you add only one field to the value group and, you do not add a field to the series group, only a single chart element is displayed. If you add multiple fields to the value group, 
a chart element is displayed for each value. If there are multiple fields in the value group, the chart legend displays the name of each value. Now the last thing we will change the chart title. Thank you for watching this video.